A wireless ad hoc network is a decentralized type of wireless network. The network is ad hoc because it does not rely on a pre-existing infrastructure, such as routers in wired networks or access points in managed wireless networks. Instead, each node participates in routing by forwarding data for other nodes, so the determination of which nodes forward data is made dynamically on the basis of network connectivity. In addition to the classic routing, ad hoc networks can use flooding for forwarding data. An ad hoc network typically refers to any set of networks where all devices have equal status on a network and are free to associate with any other ad hoc network device in link range. Ad hoc network often refers to a mode of operation of IEEE 802.11 wireless networks. It also refers to a network device's ability to maintain link status information for any number of devices in a one link range, and thus, this is most often a layer 2 activity. Because this is only a layer 2 activity, ad hoc networks alone may not support a routable IP network environment without additional layer 2 or layer 3 capabilities. The earliest wireless ad hoc networks were the packet radio from the 1970s, sponsored by DARPA after the Alonet project. Application The decentralized nature of wireless ad hoc networks makes them suitable for a variety of applications where central nodes can't be relied on and may improve the scalability of networks compared to wireless managed networks. Both theoretical and practical limits to the overall capacity of such networks have been identified. Minimal configuration and quick deployment make ad hoc networks suitable for emergency situations like natural disasters or military conflicts. The presence of dynamic and adaptive routing protocols enables ad hoc networks to be formed quickly. Wireless ad hoc networks can be further classified by their application, mobile ad hoc networks, technical requirements. An ad hoc network is made up of multiple Euro entities a Euro connected by a Euro a links a Euro links are influenced by the node's resources and behavioral properties, as well as link properties. Since links can be connected or disconnected at any time, a functioning network must be able to cope with this dynamic restructuring, preferably in a way that is timely, efficient, reliable, robust, and scalable. The network must allow any two nodes to communicate by relaying the information via other nodes. An A Euro or Path A Euro is a series of links that connects two nodes. Various routing methods use one or two paths between any two nodes. Flooding methods use all or most of the available paths. Medium access control In most wireless ad hoc networks, the nodes compete for access to shared wireless medium, often resulting in collisions. Using cooperative wireless communications improves immunity to interference by having the destination node combine self-interference and other node interference to improve decoding of the desired signal. Mathematical models In recent years mathematical models have been proposed to study various types of wireless ad hoc networks. One class of models involves using stochastic processes to represent the placement of the nodes in the ad hoc network. More specifically, Stochastic geometry models of wireless networks have been proposed and studied. Security Microsoft does not allow advanced encryption and security protocols for wireless ad hoc networks on Windows. In fact, the security hole provided by ad hoc networking is not only the ad hoc network itself, but the bridge it provides into other networks. Simulation of wireless ad hoc networks one key problem in wireless ad hoc networks is foreseeing the variety of possible situations that can occur. As a result, modeling and simulation using extensive parameter sweeping and what-if analysis becomes an extremely important paradigm for use in ad hoc networks. Traditional M&S tools include NS2, and recently NS3, OPNET Modeler, and NetSim. However, these tools focus primarily on the simulation of the entire protocol stack of the system. Although this can be important in the proof-of-concept implementations of systems, the need for a more advanced simulation methodology is always there. Agent-based modeling and simulation offers such a paradigm. Not to be confused with multi-agent systems and intelligent agents, agent-based modeling originated from social sciences, where the goal was to evaluate and view large-scale systems with numerous interacting agent, 
or components in a wide variety of random situations to observe global phenomena. Unlike traditional AI systems with intelligent agents, agent-based modeling is similar to the real world. Agent-based models are thus effective in modeling bio-inspired and nature-inspired systems. In these systems, the basic interactions of the components the system, also called complex adaptive system, are simple but result in advanced global phenomena such as emergence. See also, 802.11, Independent Basic Service Set, List of Ad Hoc Routing Protocols, Mobile Ad Hoc Network, Wi-Fi Direct, References, Chai Kiongto Ad Hoc Mobile Wireless Networks, Prentice Hall Publishers, 2002. C. Shiva Ram Murthy and B. S. Manoj, Ad Hoc Wireless Networks, Architectures and Protocols, Prentice Hall PTR, May 2004, 1, P. Gutta and P. Akuma. Capacity of Wireless Networks. IEE Transactions on Information Theory, Volume 46, Issue 2, March 2000, DOI, 10.1109-18.825799. Charles Blake, Douglas S. J. DeCauto, Huam Lee, and Robert Morris, Capacity of Ad Hoc Wireless Networks, in the Proceedings of the 7th ACM International Conference on Mobile Computing and Networking, Rome, Italy, July 2001, WSL, Seeing YC, Wireless Ad Hoc Networking, Auerbach Publications, 2007 ISBN 978-0-8493. 9254-2, Muaz Niazi. Amir Hussain. Agent-based tools for modeling and simulation of self-organization in peer-to-peer, -peer, ad hoc and other complex networks, feature issue. IEEE Communications Magazine. 47 No. 3. cs.stead.ac.uk PPA 163 Euro 173A.